Today we are out spraying with our UAS system, the Marsh for mosquito control. We're using a PV35 by Leading Edge. It's helped greatly in reducing numbers. There's quite a bit more mosquitoes due to the amount of rain. As you noticed out here, almost every single marsh pond is full of water. Um, that is due to the rain, the amount of rain we had this season. Capsule, the mosquito larvae are filter feeders, so they feed on the bacteria. It enters their gut and it's a growth regular. So essentially, if you guys have seen the movie Alien, it blows their stomach up. So that's the best way to describe, like it probably hurts a lot too. So it kind of depends, but recently our mosquito counts for one trap night have been several thousand. I would call it a huge spike. So we, disease week 24 and 25 uh, broke the record. So they'll be back soon-ish, I, I believe. There's a lot of groundwater moving around, uh, uh, flood water or whatnot, uh, that are, that's just sitting underground, it's producing a ton of mosquitoes. We're always looking for uh, advancements in technology. What can get the job uh, more efficient, uh, more uh, beneficial to the team, and less invasive? The drone is very uh, uh, non-invasive, so we fly at a height that is above all nesting birds. We've done studies where we watch the birds and, we watch, and we've done the drone and there's no, the birds usually come right back after the drone passes over. So if anything, it's, it's definitely, a, it's better for the environment. You know, getting into spots that we normally can't get into with backpack sprayers or with big trucks, uh, we, can, we can do it now with the drone. You know, it's uh, it's more of a, a, a battle, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna win the war against mosquitoes, but you can gain some ground. And with technology advancements in technology, we're seeing uh, gaining ground.